I got one more kickboxing fight ready to come out. This one brought to you by my good friends. I even got the right colors on tonight. Legacy Roofing in the house. You want to keep everything that's outside outside and everything that's inside inside, just call my friends at Legacy Roofing. Free estimate. Let them go up there. Let them check it out. They will take good care of you. Really good people doing really good work. So Legacy Roofing, they are hooking you up. Not only with a free roof inspection, but they're going to hook you up with fight number two. I've got another amateur kickboxing bout scheduled for three two-minute rounds. Coming out first, fighting out of the red corner, standing six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 243 pounds, making an amateur kickboxing debut. Doing, Doing it for, for Wyoming, Wyoming MMA. MMA. Let's, Let's hear, hear it for Austin Bowden. Ladies and gentlemen, coming out to the cage right now, we have Austin Bowden. Now, like Dave said, this man is six feet, three inches tall, weighed in at 243 pounds on the dot. He is 31 years old. He's got a per perfect kickboxing record of 0-0-0. Oh, oh, so what do we know? One of those O's has got to go. All right, Ryan, what do we know about this guy and where he's training out of? Well, I don't know much about him. I do know he's coming out of Team Wyoming MMA, and I do know that he was a late replacement. I know, uh, I believe this fight was put together a few weeks out, so I'm glad he's here to put on a show for you guys. Let's hear about the next guy. All right, his opponent tonight going to be fighting out of the black corner, standing six feet tall, weighing in at 263 pounds, making his kickboxing debut for one hit MMA. Let's hear it for the Kung Fu Panda, Mark Gonzalez! gentlemen the kung fu pandas are coming out all right mark gonzalez comes out he stands six foot tall he is 37 years old he weighed in at 263 even pounds he i believe also has a perfect kickboxing record of oh oh and oh what does that mean one of those has gotta go all right so well, yeah, well, we've seen Mark here in our MMA cage. Yeah, two shows ago he actually yes, fought yes. and got, got the win. Yes. He actually put on a really good performance and showed that he does have some pretty heavy hands. I mean, he showed us in the past, but kind of reinforced that he does have some heavy hands. And he decided, I actually talked to him at the yeah. last show, he said that listening to my commentary <laughs> kind of made him want to get into a kickboxing match, so it would force him to bang a little bit more. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, which surprised me, because most of the time, Mark, when you watch this, I'm talking out of my butt. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> no, just kidding. Um, I, I made some comments that he was holding back on some of his shots, and he was fainting yes. jabs instead yes. of throwing them. Okay, okay. And, and he said that that kind of got in his head a little bit, and he's okay. been working on that, and he wanted to get this kickboxing match to see how his stand-up alone is before jumping into his next MMA fight. Well, and again, he is at a one hit, which you guys know that I, I'm associated there a yes. little bit. Yes. Um, I was talking to Aldo ahead of time, you know, before this, and he was talking to me about this fight, and that's what he was saying was that he had also encouraged Mark to do so to work on his hands, yes, um, work on his striking a little bit better. He does have a wrestling background yes. from high school and things like that, so grappling is a little bit more in his wheelhouse, and we wanted to, I guess, broaden those horizons. It, it forced his... him to use the tools that he has. Yes, yes. Because so... he absolutely has the tools. We know that from past fights, but where he has no choice but to use those tools in the yep. kickboxing match. Yep, we're just striking. So, I mean, again, I'm, I'm great to see him out here. Um, I think this is a great experience for him. He, he sure as hell looks like he's, he's ready to go right now. Well, he looks very calm. Oh, Austin, nice leg kick. Austin looks pretty composed himself. He, he's moving around a little bit more than than Mark is, but, I mean, not wild movements. He's just moving. No, no, no. He's moving. He's, he's palm that jab out there. Yes. And, and he's got a really quick jab, too. Looking at him for his size, you don't expect it to whip out that far and, as quickly. That's what I was going to say, the, the distance that he yes. creates. And he comes straight down the pipe. Yeah. Ooh! There's one knockdown. And we're going to get a standing eight count. 
Great, great piece of hands right there from Mark. They're going to give him a second. We have that standing out yes. in and his kickboxing. Yep, yeah, the referee gives him the eight seconds to make sure he's good to get back in and get the fight going. Now I would look for uh, Mark to be looking to land another right hand. Oh, yep. no, that left just went it's right over the top. It's the uppercut. It's the 3-2 or the 3-4. 2-4-2 because he's landing that hook first over the top of the jab and this fight's over. <laughs> Great job. Mark Gonzalez, Kung Fu Panda coming out and getting his first win <laughs> in kickboxing tonight in the Skill Fist Cage. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. All right, let's take it to the cage and make this thing official. Sounds good to me. All right, can I get both fighters to the center of the cage, please? Gentlemen, both fighters to the center of the cage. Do me a favor, gang, one more time. Let's hear it for both these warriors, would you? Your winner, one minute, 18 seconds into round number one by TKO. Out of the black corner, Panda Power, Mark Gonzalez. Stay here, Mark. Hold on, everyone. Can I get a big round of applause for Austin for coming in here on short notice, keeping this fight alive for us? Thank you, my friend. And the Kung Fu Panda does it again. Tell us about that. Another day at the office. Oh, yeah. Say, hey, you put in a little bit of short-term work. I wish I only had to go to the office for this long. So how did you put that work in? What, what was the combo? Do you remember? Uh... Just slip two, slip three, and just keep moving, keep angling. Be faster than him, hit harder than him. And I'll tell you what, Austin, my man, thank you for showing up. Two weeks notice, you got my respect forever, brother. Thank you. Well, let me ask you, what's next for the Cam Fu Pino? We're gonna see you back in kickboxing, MMA, what's the plan? MMA, coming back. Next card, baby, let's go. I'm ready. I'm ready. All righty, all righty. Well, do you have any family, fans, sponsors you want to thank? Uh, yeah, first and foremost, uh, I would love to thank Legacy Roofing. <laughs> Josh, thank you. You guys are awesome. Uh, also, Legend Energy, Brandon Hunt, and Emmett Bennett with Critical Fist CBD. And... Also, as far as sponsors, <laughs> uh, Sauce of Salsa, George, you're out here somewhere, thank you. Um, Semper Fit Nutrition, uh, Damage Plan Insurance, uh, Zero to 100 Supplements, uh, Marcus and, uh, and Richard, thank you. And uh, my wife, I love you, babe. Thank you for letting me do what I do. So. All right. Oh. And can't forget the most important person in this building, Aldo Arasia, head coach. I love you, coach. All right, everyone, let me get a big round of applause for Mark Gonzalez. <laughs> the Kung Fu Panda rocking the kickboxing skills tonight. Big old smile. And guess what, Mark? You got the rest of the night off, man. Take a look at that corner, no wonder.